Yes, the top three finishers in the BMW Championship are over the top. Scotty Scheffler, Matt Fitzpatrick, and Victor Hovland. So why aren't you? You're watching the Over the Top Miracle Swing. Good morning, Miracle Swingers. Have I got an awesome video for you guys today. I'll be taking a look at the amazing Over the Top Miracle Swings of Victor Hovland, Matthew Fitzpatrick, and Scotty Scheffler. Three of the greatest players on planet Earth today, and they all have inside over-the-top golf swings. Now, I want to apologize because I've been away for a little while. I've got so much cooking, it's hard to even tell you, but you may notice by the hat that I just got back from Houston, Texas, where I was invited to Champions Golf Club. I'm going to be making the most awesome video with Jackie Burke and the Burke family in Houston, Texas. What an incredible trip that was. It was unbelievable. Now, I am going to be filming the brand new over the top Miracle Swing Seven Sacred Steps golf course. It's going to be incredible over these next few weeks. And this is a brand new product I'm introducing. This is the mini version. This is the clip notes to the over the top miracle swing. It's super duper cool. This is going to be coming out really soon. And what's awesome is you don't only learn the techniques, but you can click on this QR code and it's a mini video course all in one. Isn't that cool? Now I had to push back the next Miracle Swing experience, what I used to call intensives, until September 23rd and 24th, so you can still sign up for that. But let's get into today's video with three of the greatest golfers in the world who all have over-the-top Miracle Swings. All right, guys, three of the best players in the world here. We got Scheffler, Fitzpatrick, and Hovland all with OTT moves in transition. So let's start with Scotty Scheffler. Here he is just ripping a driver right up the middle, probably a little baby cut. And we can see his little OTT move. He takes it back to the inside. We're gonna see his left arm is going to move over where it was in the backswing. Now this club head is gonna stay fairly on plane as he pounds down through that ball. But this is a nice slight OTT move that gives us that throwing motion that you, which gives us natural leverage. And here we see him throwing a wedge up there, just inside, up, and over. No problem. Now I've got a trace here on the club head and the handle. Uh, so let's take a look at the handle first right over the top and we'll see that club head is slightly over the backswing plane. A lot of people make the incorrect assumption that if your club head goes over the backswing plane that's a problem and it obviously is not. Looks like he's hitting a little cut shot here into that back right pin. So. There's nothing wrong with going OTT with the hands. There's nothing wrong with going OTT with the club head. Now, let's take a look at Matthew Fitzpatrick. I just love this little flip wedge he drops up here. So Fitzpatrick is inside and over the top. So much so, even his brother Alex Fitzpatrick is over the top. Check out his brother Alex. Very similar golf swing. He, his brother Alex is literally the synthesis of Matt Fitzpatrick and Victor Hovland. That backswing, he pulls it back deep inside and up, but here he starts to look a lot like Hovland. See that position? Very similar to Hovland. An outstanding player Alex Fitzpatrick is. But watch how beautifully Matthew Fitzpatrick sets this club on the plane in the downswing. So we take it back inside to wind it up and get our arms in a good position to lay this club on the shaft plane or on the downswing plane. Doesn't that look so nice right there? Boom. Boom. 
Now, if we take a look at Matthew Fitzpatrick's driver swing, now we're going to see a little, little serious torque and speed. He's picked up a tremendous amount of distance the last couple of years, and I think that certainly helped him win the U.S. Open. But as we trace this handle and hand path going back, he is deep to the inside here. Now he goes over, down, and through the hit. What a beautiful golf swing. Beautiful balance. Boy, I just, I love, I love Matthew Fitzpatrick's golf swing. So now let's get to the man of the hour. It is Victor Hovland. Just a beautiful little short iron here. The, guys, doesn't this look easy? Just right inside up and over. Now the first thing I'm going to point out is his strong right hand. Look at this claw position he sets early on. He doesn't roll the face open. Okay, but this position right here, I'm going to compare it P2 to his P5 position when we go over the top. So he's got that right wrist cocked in that claw position. And from here he's just going to lift it straight up. Okay, now he's going to set it on the downswing plane. Not a problem in the world, but watch this next position here. Here we see that same position. He's got that right hand bent back, the claw as I call it. And it just makes for a nice easy delivery down through the impact zone. He just throws that ball out there with a nice square club face. So let's look at his driver. Now I'll tell you, this isn't the perfect down-the-line view, but from this angle, I would expect it to decrease the appearance of going OTT. But you can see plenty well that he goes over his backswing plane. Bam! Before he rips it. The other thing I want to point out, which I think is kind of funny, is it looks like he's hitting it right over the spectators. Those guys are like walking 200 yards out. And Victor Hall was just going to let it rip right over their heads. He's like, they're not in any danger. It certainly would be some danger if he caught that thin or <laughs> low on the face. But I think he knows there's no way in the world he's going to hit those folks that are in the crosswalk. But let's look at this one more time. Takes it inside. Let me point something out. I want to talk about his trigger move. See that? This is part of sacred step number one, which is a simple setup. Before we take that club back, we're going to have a trigger move. And we can see Victor Hovland get into it with a little kick with his knee, probably a little forward press, and then he's going to rock his weight back into the heel of his right foot okay as he takes it draws it back inside up and across the line now the second thing I want to point out here is his lasso move I call this the lasso it's like if you had a rope in your hand and you're on the back of a horse and you're trying to throw a lasso out around a a, a little you know cow's head do that little lasso move and then bring it right down through impact. And this is where I said he looks kind of similar to Alex Fitzpatrick. Just smash town. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. These are three of the best golfers in the world. And what a thrill it was to see them play so great this last weekend in the BMW Championship. And if you're curious about learning the original Champions Golf Swing, the easiest way to hit a golf ball and play great golf, Go to MiracleSwingExperience.com, change your game, and change your life with the original Champions Golf Swing. Hey guys, check this out. This is my brand new OTT checklist. It is the entire over-the-top Miracle Swing Golf program that fits easily in your golf bag or even in your back pocket. This booklet details each of the seven sacred steps of the over-the-top miracle swing. The first page is simple instructions on how to do the move. The back page shows you pictures and diagrams. And what's even more incredible 
is each lesson has a QR code that you can click on and it takes you directly to a simple explanation video that teaches you the move. It's an entire video course and booklet course all in one. Now I only made about a hundred of these so they're gonna go super fast. So get yours today, just click the link below or go to MiracleSwingExperience.com.